Hey, this is Ari, and in this video, I want to share with you a little clip from a recent podcast I did with Dave Asprey, who is regarded as the father of biohacking, on optimizing your health, your energy, your mitochondria, and your longevity. Enjoy, and if you want to listen to the full-length episode, the link for that is down in the description below. Enjoy. Yes, I was a, a card-carrying, devout, raw vegan, then a regular vegan until it made me really ill. And it's made so many people sick to go plant-based. A lot of them I have worked with. In fact, just at New Year's, um, I um, sat with a vegan, a very, very strident vegan when she had her first piece of bacon in 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. And it comes down to these three beliefs. I'm gonna kind of do the vegan takedown, then I'll yeah. do the carnivore takedown. Please. <laughs> Although if I had to choose between the two, I'd go carnivore, but it's not gonna end well either on that. Yeah. Um, and what, what happens with the vegan diet is animal rights terror groups who believe actually in writing that a human life is equivalent to a bunny life, that, that we're the same. Um, they will lie to you and tell you that a vegan diet is good for your health. They don't care about your health. All the anti-aging physicians, the thousands of them I've worked with, I lecture at the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine to these doctors, and many of them are close friends. I've interviewed almost a thousand people like that on my show. 99 point something percent of them will tell you that vegans are the most unhealthy group they come across. Personal trainers will tell you, it's easy. Take a vegan, have them hang from a bar. Someone can walk in the door and a vegan will fall off the bar first. They can't hold on, followed by someone who eats KFC in the standard American diet, followed by someone who's on a healthier diet, which is going to be something that is probably more paleo-ish bulletproof and maybe the early stages of carnivore, but not the late stages. And what you end up with is just, it creates human weakness. That's the reality. I don't like that it's the reality. And yet people say it's better for the environment. That is false. You need animal poop to make soil. And I say this as a regenerative agriculture farmer living about 200 feet right now from my sheep. Okay, where the animals poop, the stuff grows. Where the animals don't poop, we have depleted soils, which are a major problem. So plant-based diets don't work for that yet industrial meat is bad for you. So distributed grass-fed is the only way we can really make the planet go. Um, so there's not an environmental argument, there's not a health argument, and there's an animal cruelty argument. From an animal cruelty perspective, when I was in Tibet, and yes, I've traveled the world because when I realized, oh, this Western stuff isn't working, um, I'll try ayahuasca in South America. This is back when no white people did that. Literally, they said, you're white, you won't like it. <laughs> like, I know I'm white, but I really wanna try this. Now it's a tourist industry in Peru. Yeah. But, uh, and then I went to Nepal and Tibet and I studied meditation with the masters there. And I was talking with the um, head uh, lama at one of the large monasteries in Tibet. And I said, you tell me no killing and I see a yak skin on your prayer pole, you're a hypocrite. And he starts laughing at me and he goes, Dave, one death feeds everyone. And I have calculated the deaths per calorie for the Bulletproof diet, which is based on only eating grass fed or wild caught stuff, or you just eat vegetables and, and things you just don't eat, industrial meat. You can eat a pound of meat every year and kill 0 0.5 animals per year, including all of the byproduct animals. Unless the cow stepped on a frog, nothing else died. And That's the cow a, led a sorry, good life. That was a pound of meat every, every day for a year? Yeah, because wow. a cow weighs a thousand pounds, right? And of course there's butcher weight in bones and you can do all sorts of calculations, what breed of cow, whatever. But it's about between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 deaths for the entire year, but a bowl of you know impossible soy nuggets. Okay, how much habitat destruction happened? Because the cow is on is on a field that you didn't have to destroy. There's actually an ecosystem there. There's mice and there's other stuff. There's bugs. There are not those where they grow soy. It's literally just dead soil, and. What happens there is habitat destruction. And if there are animals, once you run that tractor through and cut everything down, there's no animals except pieces of them. So all the bunnies, turtles. So you, wait a minute, you mean my bowl of cereal killed more animals, destroyed more environment, depleted more soil than the steak? That's the reality. And then people say, but I have plant-based protein. Plant-based protein always comes with things that keep plants from being food unless you're an herbivore with three stomachs for that, and mostly phytic acid. So you can't absorb the minerals. They deplete your minerals and you end up with low bone density. 
I just had a surgery on my foot and the doctor is saying, this is weird. My bone saw is slowing down on his bones. I've never seen bone density like this. That's because I get enough minerals from my food. Okay, so that's our, our vegan side of things. It simply doesn't work for the planet and it doesn't work for the animals, yet industrial meat is bad. So don't eat industrial meat, but you can support a local farmer. Now, let's get into the carnivore thing. When I stress tested the Bulletproof Diet, and the Bulletproof Diet is to be, to be as simple as I can make it, here's the list of veggies that will not inflame your body. It's a short list. And you go in ketosis for brief periods of time, and you practice intermittent fasting. And this is a diet that's now 12 years old. <laughs> and it works so well. Okay, yeah. so so on the Bulletproof thing, you do that in the morning. Carnivore people will oftentimes tell you that any plant is bad for you. So I'm, I'm stress testing the Bulletproof diet. And so I went carnivore-ish. I did have a few herbs, but I ate only meat and fat and eggs for three months. And during the first six weeks, I'm like, yes, I feel so good. And I was also doing extra calories during that time just to sort of show that, okay, I'm not going to get fat from eating extra calories. And I did not gain weight on it. I lost weight on it. Problem was by the end of three months, my sleep score went way down. I've been monitoring my sleep every night for 15 years. And all of a sudden I'd wake up after nine hours of sleep. I normally sleep six and a half hours. That's all I need. And I'd wake up and I'd feel like I didn't sleep. And then my, my, Technology would show me that I was waking up a dozen times at night and not knowing it. And then I noticed the other things that always happen when people go carnivore. <laughs> okay. They feel great for a while. I call this the carnivore trap. It's the same as the fasting trap, the keto trap, or the vegan trap. It's that if something is good, more must be better. Mm -hmm. But women hit the carnivore trap before men do. And I've, I have a bunch of friends who went carnivore. I'm like, guys, I already tried this. Here's what's going to happen. Um, animal protein and particularly animal fat from grass-fed animals are really good for you. That's not to say that you don't need some ability to feed the good bacteria in your gut because they get stressed. They make something called lipopolysaccharides. So what you do is you can go full carnivore for three or four or five or seven days, but then you have a meal that includes some soluble fiber, also known as prebiotic fiber. Or you could be carnivore and take some of that every day. The reason that we're all confused about this is that the body actually is meant to run on glucose much of the time, and it can run on ketones some of the time. So you can teach it to run on ketones. You do that by intermittent fasting or by being carnivore for at least three days, or you could teach it that by adding MCT oil to your coffee. It's less work, and MCT oil has other benefits. But when you do that, now you have a metabolism that can burn fat or can burn carbohydrates for energy. When you go full carnivore, you lose the ability to metabolize carbohydrates for energy and your gut bacteria move in a way that isn't good. And in the carnivore space, um, one, of my, uh, one of my friends, Paul Saladino, has ended up, well, guys, I actually feel better if I have some honey, which is you know, animal-based, uh, along with it. Oh, and I eat the less inflammatory plants. I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I'm recommending on the Bulletproof Diet with intermittent fasting. So in the morning, don't have much, eat most of your food in the middle of the day, have some carbs if you're not trying to lose weight. And if you're trying to lose weight, cut the carbs a little bit and be in ketosis some of the time. And that will keep you going for decades. Hey, this is Ari. I hope you enjoyed this little clip. And if you wanna to listen to the full length podcast, the link for that is down in the description below. Also, one more thing before you go, I want to mention, in case you don't already know about it, our formula, Energenesis. This is an amazing product uh, that has multiple compounds in it that are scientifically proven in numerous studies to increase your energy levels, not just by, you know, 3% or 5% or 10%, by, but by 30 or 40 or 50% in a very, very short time time frame. So one of these compounds that I'll mention here is called NT factor phospholipid. And it is a an extract of phospholipids that comes from lecithin. And they extract the pure phospholipids from this things like phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylethanolamine, and many others. And these are the same uh, fatty acid compounds, phospholipid compounds that compose our 
uh, cell membranes and mitochondrial membranes. And this specific patented formula has been shown actually to enter into the, the bloodstream uh, un, undigested, basically, without being broken down and denatured through the digestive process in the stomach and the intestines. It makes it into the bloodstream and actually makes it all the way to our cells and to our mitochondria where it helps repair damaged mitochondrial membranes and facilitates our mitochondria functioning better. Now, all of that sounds like wonderful theory, uh, and it sounds like it could be beneficial, but the real test is, has it actually been studied and been proven to increase your energy levels? And the answer is yes, absolutely. There are numerous studies uh, outlined in a wonderful paper by the scientist, a scientist named Garth Nicholson, uh, in a paper called Lipid Replacement Therapy. I highly recommend checking this out if you're interested in digging into the research. But this compound has been studied in the context of multiple different kinds of chronic fatigue. Uh, aging-related chronic fatigue, obesity-related chronic fatigue, uh, obscure things like Gulf War illness, and numerous studies in chronic fatigue syndrome. And there are studies showing that this has the capability. They've taken one study, in fact, actually showed that in elderly adults over the age of 65, it restored their mitochondrial health, which had deteriorated uh, heavily. It restored it to the level of healthy 29-year-olds, believe it or not. And they've actually measured energy levels in these people. And all of these studies across the board show improvements in energy of at least 25% and typically more like 35 to 45% in just the span of between four to 12 weeks. That's how long all of these studies are, four to 12 weeks. They're showing dramatic, huge improvements in energy levels by helping to repair these mitochondrial membranes through this thing called lipid replacement therapy using, again, this patented form of a phospholipid extract called NT factor. This is just one of about 20 ingredients proven to benefit mitochondrial health that you'll find in my formula energenesis so i strongly encourage you if you are struggling with your energy levels if you're dealing with chronic fatigue go grab yourself a bottle or three of this or subscribe and save um, try it out you are going to be blown away by the results we get so many testimonials we get so many emails from people talking about how this one thing has transformed their lives. So I cannot encourage you strongly enough to give this a shot. And it, let's say you buy three bottles, um, try out the first one, give it a month. And if you don't notice significant improvements, you can return the unopened bottles to us for a full refund. So give it a shot. I really think you're going to be blown away by the results. The formula is called Energenesis, and you can get it at theenergyblueprint.com or click the link below. So... I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you again very soon.